The brain. This is a brief video tutorial which gives you a description of how the brain is constructed, so to speak, and we also look at different kinds of aphasias. This is a, an overview of the different parts of the brain here. You can see how they're indicated, and different parts of the brain seem to have uh, different primary features that control our different actions. If we look at the anatomy of the brain, the brain has two symmetrical halves, the right and the left hemisphere, and this is connected by the corpus callosum. And the corpus callosum is a bundle of nerves that lets the two halves communicate with each other. This was discovered because of um, patients suffering from serious epilepsy and when the corpus callosum was removed because that was the cause of the heavy epileptic fits then there was one person who seemingly had two separate halves which couldn't communicate and this created difficulties for that patient. Now the left and the right hemisphere each hemisphere has four lobes. Now the outer, the outer part of the brain, the cortex, this cortex consists of different kinds of neurons, grey matter, and this is what forms the surface of the brain. Underneath this is a white kind of matter consisting primarily of connecting fibres, and these initiate all voluntary actions. They receive messages from sensory organs, the different parts of our body, and this is a storehouse of memory. The language-related areas, these are the auditory cortex, which receives and identifies auditory signals, the visual cortex, which receives and interprets all visual stimuli, and there are language centers. Language is modular in the brain. It's processed in certain kinds of areas. In most people, about more than 90%, it's in the left, left hemisphere. However, with some people, it's the opposite way around. Now, language is modular. This means that um, different parts of the brain account for different features. For example, the syntax or the morphology. The brain is contralateral. That is, the left hemisphere controls movements on the right side of the body. Meanwhile, the right hemisphere controls the left side of the body. And stimuli received by right ear, eye or sided body is processed by the other side and vice versa. So, we have an aspect of a brain called modularity. Language function is localized in certain regions of the brain. In 1864, Paul Broca uh, located language on the left side of the brain. Evidence from brain injury indicated that left hemisphere injury leads to loss in speech, while meanwhile right hemisphere injury does not. So therefore the conclusion is that language is somewhat lateralized. And modern research has provided supporting evidence for this. This is quite a simplistic kind of diagram which indicates where the different parts of the left and the right hemisphere and what is its primary um, concern. It's